So, we've got a gas car and a dream of making it electric. What's the first step? Well, there's a DIY electric car forum that has a Start Here thread with helpful information from 2007. The service information is all in Japanese. I tried to get help from a mechanic who raised an important matter of principle. So, we're basically on our own, and we don't know shit about cars. about cars today. Jason, show us show us what we've got. The drain the drain petcock and square hole. This is how you burp. You squeeze the hose. <laughs> so there is a an extra storage compartment under the uh, passenger side seat. Of course that's where the windshield wiper fluid goes and um previous owner um bought some tacos. So we're we're leaving that there to honor their memory. Opening up the engine bay for the first time. Since 1994, this engine bay has never been opened. Oh, where'd the yen go? It wasn't in the uh, ashtray anymore. It's hanging off the mirror. Oh. Yeah, that was the one thing we got done. <laughs> <laughs> We've been very It's ambitious. a good luck charm. <laughs> you said there was like a cylinder head here? Yeah, those are the cylinder heads right there with the uh, spark plugs on them. Mmm, smells like lawnmower. This is the alternator <laughs> here. This is a four stroke, sir. It is not a lawnmower. <laughs> Alternators there, that's, so this is all getting replaced here. I believe this is part of the cooling system. Yeah, Although that's, I wonder these what are this insulated. Cable is all about so because it looks like it does something. Transmission is here, we've determined, because these are the linkages that change gears, basically. Yeah, if you move the gear lever, you can actually see the linkages going. Cool. We decided to start with something simple, getting the AM radio to play audio from our phones. Now, the radio technically already works, if it were an FM radio, this would be simple. Get an over-the-counter FM transmitter to plug into the cigarette outlet. The FM transmitter hooks up to your phone, then broadcasts your phone's sounds over the radio, where your car picks it up. But they don't sell AM radio transmitters on Amazon. Expensive classic cars still sometimes have AM radios, so we did find a classic car website that sold AM transmitters for $120, and it's got, like, a sweet custom mounting box. But for $120, we might as well buy a new sound system from scratch. The idea behind this project is to try to scrap as little as possible of the original vehicle and spend as little money as possible. So to avoid having to replace the speakers and the existing radio, we looked up what it would take to build our own AM radio transmitter that would hook up to our phones so I can play my favorite song over the car's speakers. I quickly found a 1995-era website for teaching children how to make AM radios. The diagram was simple, and it was for kids, so it would be easy, right? It even helpfully listed all the parts we needed. Only problem is, most of them aren't manufactured anymore. At least not outside of the Pacific Rim. So this website is making me put in my title. Um, <laughs> uh, I am spending $3 on this website. So, I'm trying to order, I'm trying to order this part. The part itself is like three bucks. I found a website that would have given it to me for three bucks, but the shipping would have been 15, and that's unacceptable. Now I found a place that'll give it to me for free. Ah yes, my favorite local store, Bendigo and Horsham. Um, so shipping is free as long as I want to go to Australia. I also found a Kiwi electronic site that would only ship to New Zealand. I ended up ordering the part from a place in New York that wouldn't let me place an order on a Saturday until the sun went down, marking the end of Shabbat. Well friends, today is a momentous day as it is officially the day when the first parts of our future electric vehicle have arrived, and crucial parts they are. Alright, let's do an unboxing some help here. This will allow us to hook up a phone to the AM system. Now we actually only need one of these um, because it's a mono radio in the first place so you're gonna get mono sound even out of a stereo phone. It's a shame they sent us a part that we're gonna only use half of because I hate to waste. Although it's not the same story with these bad boys which we only need two of. They literally wouldn't send them to me um, with fewer than 36. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Got another unboxing. This one from Ridgeland Avenue, Hamilton. 
It's, that'll catch on. This is a crystal oscillator for the AM radio transmitter. It will allow us to broadcast at 1 megahertz. You could explain it to me a million times how it works, and I'm just never going to understand it. Continuing in the trend of really there being no waste involved in the packaging and shipping of these parts. Ah, oh, well, actually, no, it looks like they probably could have used a smaller box than this. This is all about... Yeah.